Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we're going to work on an Epson Artisan 1430. We're going to refill the original cartridges and then we're going to replace them with a refillable non OEM cartridges. We're going to talk about why would we keep using the original OEM cartridges and why we want to switch to non OEM cartridges. This model 1430 is very versatile and can be used with a dye ink, pigment ink, and a sublimation ink. It's very popular among professional studios and the printing companies. If you use this printer a lot, you know it clocks a lot. So today we're going to cover some basic unclogging techniques too. At BCH, we unclog and fix the printer for free. So if you live in an area that's close to us, you're welcome to stop by and uh, uh, drop your printer here. This printer uses original Epson ink. It starts printing blank pages, so it sounds like it needs ink and uh, maybe un some unclogging. Although the ink monitor shows some ink left, the cartridges feel very light and don't seem to have any ink. Absence ink monitor actually doesn't know how much ink in the cartridge. It is simply a counter which counts how many pages printed. For example, if the counter is zero, then it thinks you never used the cartridge and shows a full tank of ink. We're gonna use a standard six color ink available at bchtechnologies.com and go to review ink and uh, review ink for Epson and just uh, click uh, six colors. The package comes with a small pen drill, but I recommend to have an electric drill or something similar. I also recommend some uh, plugs and uh, some uh, priming tips, but it's not really critical. Uh, we're going to cover it later. The reason that we want to use OEM cartridges is this part. It is a one-way damper, which regulates ink to flow one way from the cartridge to the printhead. This part reduces the chance of ink backflow and clogging. We're going to use a drill to drill through the two layers of plastics and put the ink into the ink tank. Of course, we should avoid drilling through the circular one-way damper. This shows how deep we drilled and where we drilled. Now we will add 5 ml of ink into the cartridge. If the ink is overflowing, we should stop right away. We can seal the hole with a piece of clear tape. Here's an option, optional step. If the cartridge's one-way damper is full of air, which means we used the last bit of ink, we can use a priming tip to remo remove air from the one-way damper. It will give the printer some help to start printing. Because we're not supposed to run the cartridge to completely dry, so this step might not be necessary. Uh, next, we need to reset the, the page number to zero. You can go to uh, BCH Technologies and go to Accessories and the reset for cartridge. Don't select for waste tank. Select the cartridge and make sure the model number is right. And uh, this one we use a EP0. Uh, for the resetter, it doesn't work if you have really low ink, uh, which means uh, uh, less than 15%. You may find that the resetter have, has a different number of pins than the cartridge. That's not, not a problem. As long as you line up the top pins, the bottom pin doesn't need that many, that many number of pins. And this one, say, we push many times and it's still going red.
if we check out what we found out earlier is uh, the two colors, one is sun, one is uh, uh, light magenta. Uh, those two has a triangle on it. That means really low ink is less than 15%. When it's less than 15%, uh, you have a good chance that the, the chip will not reset. So uh, the thing, only thing you can do is, is uh, throw it in the trash can. Okay, let's try one without the yellow triangle. Uh, so this is magenta. And uh, you can see we lined up. And uh, it's red. That's uh, our first try. Then we try to line up again and push. Now it's green. And then we give a sign another chance. So the best time is uh, before you get uh, the low ink warning to refill it. So science is in the trash can, and uh, we reset uh, magenta. Now it's the light magenta. So we'll give a uh, trash can treatment again. The rest three colors should be straightforward. So we still have uh, two cartridges in the trash can. So we're going to replace it with uh, uh, BCH refillable cartridge. We can get it from uh, cartridges and uh, for Epson refillable. Then it was uh, like a T79. It has two holes. In the back is the air hole, which uh, I put a, a color plug in there. I put a color plug just because you have to remove it. When the printer is working, this hole must be open. The next hole is in the middle, is the refill hole. That's where we're going to add ink in. The two holes are connected, so if you add in the ink from the wrong hole, uh, it won't damage the printer or it won't damage the cartridge. The only thing is uh, you will just do it in a hard, harder way. So we use the color plug to seal the refill hole this time. We put the color plug in the air hole for the first time. It just forces you that to remove it before you use it. And here's the optional step that we prime the cartridge by sucking the air out of the 
uh, the, uh, at the bottom of the cartridge. You can see we can add a lot more inks in the refillable cartridge. It's like uh, 2.3 to 2.5 times of the ori original cartridge. How about that? We're gonna do two cleanings, then wait two hours, and then do another two cleanings. Uh, you can see the black is a little bit clogged. We'll do some basic unclogging. We're gonna use a tool from uh, accessories and uh, priming uh, clip syringe and uh, there's nothing special about it it's just a syringe and a tube however the tube was tested to make a really really tight fit with your uh, print head uh, which is really important and then the cleaning solution we used uh, accessories and anti-clogging agent and we used this triple action cleaning solutions which is green color. We filled about five mils of our cleaning solution. We need to be able to move the cartridge freely, so we press the ink button. As soon as the cartridge moves to the underside, we cut the power off. Then we fold the paper towel and put it on the bottom, and then move the cartridge to the middle. The tube is designed to be a tight fit so uh, to the ink intake and uh, make sure that you press at least uh, uh, three quarters of way in and make sure that it actually, uh, actually has a tight fit with uh, ink intake. Now you can squeeze the syringe and uh, do not press too hard. I mean, if you have presses really, really hard, then that's another problem. Uh, you don't want to uh, burst the print head. So uh, gradually, smoothly press the ink in. And do not forget to remove the paper. Don't get scared by the first printout and do two cleanings with two hours, then do two more. The black is fixed. Here's a Colorado Quandary Peak. I got the three stitches on my arm for this. And you can see the view is totally worth it. Okay, let's talk about when to refill the cartridges. If you have an Apps OEM cartridge and a user resetter, and you already, you already see it, you should, uh, you should fill whenever you get the, this error message, or, or not error message, this warning comes up, says it's almost time to refill. You take it out, reset it, and refill it. 
because you cannot see how much ink in the cartridge. Do not let your printer tell you when to refill. However, if you have a refillable cartridge, and the first thing to do is uh, do not enable auto update and do not install any update. Secondly, the refillable cartridge is equipped with the ARC chip. ARC means auto reset. It only resets when it reach a page number, a particular page number. So if absent display is almost time to replace your ink or uh, the ink is low, those kind of warnings, you will have to ignore it. Keep printing until you see this. Ink cartridge cannot be recorded. If you don't get this, just keep using the printer. So we have a black and we have a light magenta that is reset. So what happened is your black ink is already reset, have a full tank of ink, but the, but the printer cannot figure out um, why you have a full tank, but you haven't taken the cartridge out yet. So what we're going to do is uh, we take the black out and fill it with the ink and put it back and the printer will be happy. Make sure when you do this, use the printer's replace cartridge uh, function. Uh, some people just cut uh, the power off and replace the car cartridge. That's not the right way to do it. If you cut the power out and replace the cartridge, the printer doesn't know that you replaced the cartridge. So here you can see I fill up all the cartridges. And what happened? So we restart the printer and uh, you're going to see uh, the black is full and that the other is still low, although we already add ink to it and it will still be low. So for the refillable cartridges, just keep using it until the printer stops you, and then fill it up, and then put it back, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at uh, bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you, bye, cheers.